tonight we're going to hold a seance, which nowadays is a, an intimate small spare circle. Okay? Modern day mediumship is more mental than physical, and with our time constraints and just the general skeptical environment that we're in, <laughs> <laughs> the odds of any ectoplasm or transfiguration or anything like that are very low, so I don't want to mislead you with any of that, okay? But we don't know what spirit has in store, and we do have a millimeter on the table, which does measure any energetic or temperature changes. So if that goes off, that'd be really cool. Um, okay, great. Now, with that said, Mr. Houdini can deny our invitation, okay? But as a medium, I don't turn any spirit away, okay? So I go ahead and I honor that communication. So when we do our circle tonight, I want us to look at the information that I give to you all as in two sort of directions. One is for Houdini, and one is for you. Perhaps one of your loved ones will come through with a message as well, okay? So let's think kind of duality here. Um, also, I don't want you to feed me any information, okay? So simply, if I ask you any questions, just loudly, well, that's fine. <laughs> Really? <laughs> um, so just, if I ask you any questions, just please clearly and loudly say yes, no, or I don't know, okay? If you say I don't know, that's fine. Take that information, put it in the back of your head. You'll probably remember it tomorrow and know what I'm talking about. If it's no, it could be um, communicating, not directly or exactly, you know, what needs to go on and also possibly interpreting the information wrong. If it's also a no and I'm wrong, I'm okay with it being wrong, okay? It's fine, the medium is 100%, I'm not 100%. Um, so with that said, um, if, there are, if there is time for any questions at the end, they'll be fielded at the end from you guys, okay? Also, we're gonna be building a circle of energy here, okay? So please, um, if I ask you a question, then go ahead and say something. Um, and also from the audience, please let's not disrupt this circle of energy that we're that we're you know building and we're, we're coming. So with that said, let's get started. You guys ready? Okay. <laughs> um, sure. If you want to, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> this is good. Okay. So what I wanted to do is just to quickly, we're going to do three deep breaths. So I want to change the energy around here. Okay. Spirit likes to be welcomed and not tested. So um, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So um, the first thing what I'd like for everybody to do is just take your hands and just place them lightly on the table. If you have to clear your throat or you have an itch that you need to scratch, go ahead and do it. Take care of your physical cells. You're just fine. We will not be interrupting that. Um, when I ask questions, just raise. You can raise one hand, and that's fine. That won't be breaking the circle either. Um, if you can take the information that I give you, okay? And um, I think we're just pretty much ready to go. So we're going to take three deep breaths. We're going to inhale, hold, and then exhale. Okay, and I will guide us all with that. Okay, so if we're ready, we'll go ahead and do that. The first one, we'll keep our eyes open. The next two, we'll keep our eyes closed, okay? So if everybody can please take in a deep breath in, hold it, and now exhale. Now everybody close your eyes, please. Take in a nice deep breath in. Hold it. And now exhale. Good. Thank you. Last time. Inhale in. Hold it. And exhale. Good. Thank you. You can open your eyes now. Find a comfortable breathing pattern for yourself. It's at this time that I would like to invite Mr. Houdini to come forward. I want to keep the invitation extended throughout the seance in case he doesn't show up right away, okay? Um, also, any spirit that is around here, um, if you can, um, if you would like to conjure up enough energy to set up that millimeter that is placed right over there, that'd be fantastic, go ahead and do that. Excellent, okay. So I do feel some energy coming through, actually. I do feel that it's a male, and I feel, Okay, thank you. So I feel as if this male is not only a son, but he is an uncle. Okay, so I'm just going to give you that information. And I also feel that um, I feel that he's bringing through a woman as well. The woman feels older than him, and it feels like there's a relationship of a mother, which would make sense if the son. <laughs> um, Thank you. And I get the sense that this male's 
personality. Outwardly is gregarious and actually on some level egotistical. Inwardly, he feels like he needs to sort of cocoon himself. So, so far with this information, can anybody resonate or does any of this information make sense with their knowledge of Houdini? Does this make any sense? This makes sense to you and that makes sense to you? Okay. And what about personally? Do you know somebody with this who is you? You do. Okay. Thank you. Um, don't, you can say yes. It's okay. <laughs> you can talk. Okay, great. So we have that. Let me see. See, what, what's interesting is that these two energies are coming in together, the son and the mother. As a matter of fact, thank you very much. I just heard from the mother that she had two sons. Does this make any sense in regards to Houdini having, Houdini having a brother? Because I almost feel like this, I do feel that this male that has come through, his mother is telling me that she had two sons. Does that make sense? He's like, I don't know. You're, no, no, okay. Any other takers along that line who's not with me? You, we're still with you, okay. Okay, great, thank you. Now, what's interesting, okay, so, again, this woman seems to be more talkative. Does that make sense to you that the woman would talk? Because I feel like the woman is actually talking, but the son is just kind of along for the ride. Would that be the personality or would that be the relationship between the mother and the son? Where she would talk a lot more and then he would just kind of go along for the ride. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. That's okay. Um, I do feel like this woman is actually a lot more prevalent than this man. I will say that. Um, okay. Let me see if she's uh, describing herself to me. Thank you. She's actually talking to me versus giving me the feeling in the sense. Okay, great, thank you. So she's telling me, she's telling me there's a connection to food or there's a connection to her always having to feed her family. Does that make any sense to you? Providing, can you please speak up? Like, yes, no, that makes sense, okay. And it, it, she's giving me the sense, thank you, hold on a second. I wanna find out what her connection is to you. Um, would it make sense to you if I say um, aunt? That makes sense. Okay, thank you very much. Um, would it be correct if I say that this was on your mother's side? Does that make sense to you? This, is, this would be your mom's sister. Does that make sense to you? That does. So affirm yes. Okay, great. Thank you. She's um, drawing my attention to my chest area. Does that make any sense to you? Okay, thank you. Um, I'm not saying that's how she crossed over, I'm just saying she's pointing out to her chest. As a matter of fact, what's very interesting to me is um, <laughs> she's kind of going like this. Okay, so uh, it was, to me, she's giving me the sense that there was some pride in her chest. Does that make sense to you? Okay, and she's giving me, <laughs> hey, you know, if you've got it, flaunt it, right? <laughs> um, she's giving me a letter. <laughs> I'm going to give you the letter, so just think of the connection to the letter, it may not be her name, but there's a connection to her in this letter, and it's A. Does that make any sense to you? Okay, that makes sense to you, great, thank you. Okay, so um, I, I feel confident enough to say that I'm with your aunt. <laughs> um, and um, right now I have to say, honestly and truly, that I do not feel that Houdini is with us at this moment. Remember, I gave him an opportunity to show up, so. Okay, great. So your aunt. So let me let me find out why she decided to come through. Because most of the time, spirits will come through for a reason, and I like to give the message. So thank you very much. She's acknowledging a house. Okay. So would it be correct in saying that there is? Uh, okay. Thank you. There are changes within the house. Does that make any sense? Or the homestead? I want to say homestead within the family. The family homestead. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Um, she's saying she's acknowledging it, and she's saying, okay, thank you. She's saying that the, the direction that it's being moved in, whatever it is, 
needs to continue on that path. It's a bumpy road right now, but she's saying she's giving the me the month of September. I'm just going to give that to you. I don't know if that's a if you know of that connection. It's okay if you don't. Again, just file it in the back of your head tomorrow. You might know what that means. But I almost feel like this situation with the homestead. She's giving me September, so I am. Uh, it, 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 she's giving me the sense that it everything will be completed by September. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. Thank you. Wow, I've got another female coming in. It looks like the women want to talk. Anybody surprised? <laughs> okay. Um, this female, um, okay, what's interesting about this female is she's, she has an underlying sadness to her, okay? Um, but that's too vague for me. I'm not happy with that. Um, she's drawing my attention to the left side of my body. Oh, that was me. Sorry. She's drawing my attention to the left side of my body and actually specifically in this area. Now, again, I'm not saying that she crossed this way, but what I am saying is that there's, she's drawing my attention. Actually, it feels more over here. So, and I feel that it is a mother, a mother figure, a mother. So, does anybody here at the table have a mother in spirit? who had some, um, I want to say, an issue with the neck. Um, and that's not necessarily how she crossed over. Does that make sense to anybody? No? OK. So I'm, um, let me see if I can get some more information. I'm actually really hoping it's for someone at the table and not in the audience. <laughs> um, Great. Now, there's something about her stature, okay? So what she would do is she would stand very, very tall, and when she walked, there was, a, there was almost a sultry type of walk to her. So with that information, can anybody take that, a mother who's in spirit, in addition to possibly having attention to this area, would walk in a very sultry way. And she's showing me herself when she was younger, and that she would have attention from men. So does anybody at the table, does that make sense? No, not even an I don't know. Okay, so let me see. Um, I could be wrong. Or let me see if I'm. Um, and there's a connection to airplanes or air air flights. I don't know why I want to say air flights. Um, flight attendants. Does that make any sense to anybody? No. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let her go because I want to make sure there's someone at the table. Okay. I have a male coming through. Thank God it's a male. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're back to feel and back to feeling an ego. Okay, so this is a gentleman who has an ego. This is a man, okay, there's something prominent about his ears. Okay, because he's showing me his ears and he's going like this. Okay, so we're going to go back to could this possibly be Houdini? Um, there's something about his ears, is very prominent about his ears and um, even hearing, um, he's giving me the sense that he would have good hearing. Um, and hold on, I want to make sure I get a relationship here. And I feel like this, he, again, the word brother is coming up. So he's giving me the sense that he is a brother, which means he has, or he is a brother. Does that make sense in terms towards Houdini or towards anybody here? He had brothers. Okay. Anybody else? Something about the ears, being prominent about the ears, having very good hearing, and an ego. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. Um, okay. I'm going to see if I can come up with one more piece of evidence, and if not, I'm just going to go ahead and say, um, unfortunately, we didn't <laughs> contact the team tonight. Um, let me see. Um, uh, the color red and red hair. Is there a connection? to this gentleman in your own life or in a Houdini connection to having red hair. Does that make sense to anybody? <coughs> that could be an I don't know. Or is that, that's a definite no. Is that an I don't know or an I don't know? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, all right, well, at this time, my time is almost up, so I am very confident <laughs> in saying that we did not contact Houdini tonight. And um, it's a shame that we didn't. 
and um, I just wanted to thank you all so much for coming tonight, and thank you for sharing your loved one with me. I'm glad you got a message. <laughs> this way spirit works. We never know what's going to happen. So thank you all very much, and um, I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. <laughs> I like.